Welcome Virgo. Okay, so Virgo, we are going to look at the next two weeks for you. Um, and know that whenever you come across the video is when the messages are right for you. But if they don't resonate, go and look at your other placements because there might be a message in there for you. Okay, so Virgo, let me just put these down. Getting a little bit shuffle happy here. Okay, so um, the Enchanted Map is the first deck we'll be using along with the Gilded Tarot. Yes, I changed it up. Okay, so stuck in the mud. Stuck in the mud. I mean, aside from the obvious, interesting. This has come up for quite a few signs, but it's the first time I've actually noticed this. That in the mud here, there seems to be this circle, like this, this ring, and it, the elephant's gone around and around and around and made no progress. It's just like walking around in the circles kind of thing. Um, I'm just noticing this bird on the back here. I wonder if these it needs to be some sort of change in perspective in order for you to go in a different direction. Um, but also noticing the new moon, that this could be a new beginning for you or the way to a new beginning. Yeah, because here we have death. So don't freak out, okay? Um, this could be that there's, well, it's, you know, the ending of something uh, one cycle and going into a new cycle so um, definitely maybe a new perspective is needed we also have the six of pentacles here and um, I feel like there's something that needs to be divided I wonder if for some of you there's something going on in your life it could be even the ending of a relationship um, and you the things need to be divided in order for you to start again um, this is usually about someone quite generous, but I'm just seeing this kind of like even division here. Okay, I'm also not feeling though like the scales are quite even. Um, this could have been something that has ended and you're still, maybe you feel a bit hard done by, or you didn't got, get what you were owed potentially. Because I feel like these, like these hands down here and it's like someone who's got more than enough and they're just like giving out a couple to these people who are kind of like, it's like someone holding themselves above someone else and also noticing this bird here um, sitting on top of the elephant. Maybe that's what that's about, like being, there's some kind of energy of someone believing that they're above somebody in a sense. Interesting, that's real interesting. Making a choice. Making a choice. First off, Virgo, I want to say, so you could be at a crossroads here. Is this what this is actually about? At a crossroads here? And you're trying to weigh things up. To see which way is the best to go. Because there is this new beginning. And you're just not sure which direction to go in. And I want to say just make a choice. Um, it's kind of like. I want to say really it's important for you to go with your intuition. Because what looks appealing. What looks appealing. 
it's like everything is not as it seems is what I want to say like this looks like the lovely path that's not going to bring any hardships whatsoever and you could step onto that path and then boom the storm hits right this could be you know this looks like it's going to be a stormy path but you could step into that and the clouds clear and the sun comes out you know it's hard for you to see what is coming which is why it's hard to make this decision and the reason I feel like you're still in the process of making this decision is because we're not here we're not you know there's this one path leading to here so maybe this is things are still ending here and it's leading you to and you know that kind of like that fork in the road very interesting um, I want to say also that there is no wrong decision um, because you will learn what you need to learn along the way. Okay, did one just flip over there? Page of Wands. Yep. This is definitely about you learning what it is you need to learn. Okay, I feel like it's kind of like you have you have a new passion and you're at the beginning at the, because the page of wands like I see him as having this new wand here and he hasn't learned to use it to its full potential yet and it could very well be Virgo that you haven't been um, allowing your full potential to flourish as yet okay um yeah that's that's it <laughs> that's it for that card <laughs> um yeah but i do feel like you know also if this is to do with work because we've also got the pentacles here that this is going to be whatever path you choose is going to be good okay it, it please don't um you know try not to get too caught up with well what looks good on paper type of thing okay go with your gut because I feel like your gut is kind of telling you to go down this path but you're looking at it going but this would make more sense to go down and yeah um five of cups here I feel like you need to change your your position on something Okay, you need to, because it's like you're still focusing on what you didn't get or what didn't work. Okay, and um, you're focusing on endings that have happened and you're not actually looking at what um, good is to come. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe what that's what these two are about. It's like you're still looking this way, but you need to look this way. Um, you need to look at the fact that there are good times ahead. And for some of you, you... I don't think it's that you don't believe it, but you just... It's kind of like you need to make this break state kind of thing. You need to make a break from this it's kind of like a bit of this narrow-mindedness in a sense of just seeing things in one way instead of widen, widening that scope and seeing seeing things for what they truly are because I feel like the reason the cups fell is because they were empty and they were old and they needed to be um I want to say replaced, but I don't feel they needed to be polished up. And, and it's almost like there was no work being put into that. But these these two cups here, which are full and they're glowing and they're polished. And I feel as though this is the focus that you need to be putting your energy into. OK, that's what you need to be focusing, focusing upon. I'll just make up my own way of saying things while we're at it. And maybe that's the thing. Maybe that's what you need to do. Maybe you need to make up your own, um, you know, I don't know. Don't, you know what I mean. 
<laughs> I mean to say, and then I'm like, oh, I've got nothing. <laughs> so Virgo, but you know, you, you just need to create your own, ver well, not version, because that's like not necessarily telling things for how they truly were, but, you know, creating your own reality, which seems... Um, so cliche, but anyhow. Uh, spirit of place. Let me show you here. See, again, this is the same energy. Things have, fall, have fallen or are falling. I feel like this here... could be about allowing things to fall where they fall. And and I want to say that this is also kind of about this cycle um, of, of letting things go because, you know, just like when trees lose their leaves in autumn, they fall and they land where they they land. The tree isn't trying to control where those leaves land. Okay, the tree isn't trying to control which leaves fall when they just allow the process to happen. And maybe that's what it is the case for you to allow this process to happen. This could be a new relationship for some of you or renewing an existing relationship. Aha, uh -huh. maybe that's what the polishing was about. Mm-hmm. Anyhow, maybe, what if, Virgo, what if there's two people stepping out of these doors and coming onto this one path? What if you're not walking that way, you're actually walking this way? What if? What if these two cups will join together to become one? What if? What if it is the end of a relationship and things are falling where they fall? I do feel like there's this sense of not being content with whatever has gone on, though. I feel like there's this sense of needing to practice acceptance the high priestess something's not clear here something is not clear and it's like you're trying to figure it out you're trying to work it out And I feel like needing to see things from a different perspective, but also really tapping into your intuition, okay, and um, using that to help lead the way. I feel like this focus um, on what has been done or what has gone um, is not allowing you to tap into that intuition, Um, yeah, to start this new journey, or at least to continue along this journey. It's kind of like you're, you, you could very well be at this crossroads, and quite frankly, Virgo, you're pretty annoyed that you're even in that position. Too many cards there. Like, a little bit like, well, um, if this hadn't happened, then I wouldn't even be having to make this choice, you know, type of thing. But we have, sorry, I had a little giggle before, because we have the Ace of Cups here. And we, you know, this could be a new beginning in love, okay? Talking about these two of Cups coming together and this path coming together, maybe this is what you're not sure of what you're doing. Maybe you have to decide between two people, this is a possibility, Virgo. 
we also have the Four of Cups here. This is the Ace of Cups here, right? Like looking at it like, I really don't want to deal with that right now. And I feel like those Three of Cups here are these three here. So it is like this coming together and creating one. And maybe it's the work that you need to do in order to get to this. Maybe you don't want to travel that healing path. You want this, but you don't want to do the work behind it, maybe, for some of you. Possibility. What have we got next? Wishing well. <laughs> Making your wish. It's, this is, this is kind of like, to me, making a wish, putting it down the wishing well, and then turning around going, are you ready yet? Are you ready yet? Instead of just trusting that the wishing well is going to do what it needs to do in order to make that happen. And by checking on that, it's like this thing comes up, which is like, huh? that's not what I asked for. It's just a jumbled bit of mess kind of thing, right? And it's like, but hang on a minute, because there's not... It's like the time hasn't been put into um, allowing something to manifest or be created. But also with manifestation, Virgo, you have to understand it's not just putting it out there and waiting for it to come. There is action that needs to be taken um, and there is work that needs to be done. It doesn't just fall out of the sky or pop out of a wishing well and voila, here we are. You have to do the work behind it. And I feel as though this is about you working on filling your own cup and what you want to fill that with, okay? Wishing well. Tell me more about wishing well for Virgo. Okay. The King of Wands and the Hanging Man. Hmm. Interesting. His energy. There's something about his energy here. And yeah, see, I feel like you're halfway. It's like you're just at this um, indecisive moment in your life. And maybe it's not it you're not even sure what it is you want to put in that wishing well right now. Um but this could be someone who is in your life, right? This could be about an ear sign. Yeah. Um but it could also, yeah, see, it's the energy, it's that kind of like energy of Someone who's a bit, it's its almost as though he could take this wand here and just burn you with it. Maybe that's what you're afraid of because I'm looking at this. I've got this placed on the table here like this, right? And she's looking back here at him like, oh, what are you going to do with that? And But it's almost as though he's used this to light the wishing well because it's kind of like this fire. Um yeah, this could be about you needing to just take your time, just kind of like get a new perspective on things for sure, okay, and um, and, and again change your position on something. I feel like you need to actually face the other way and in order for you to move forward, you need to turn around and face the other way, okay. We have the talisman, yes, look at this. This is you on your journey and I feel as though there's been some times that you have felt quite vulnerable but now you're starting to get your strength back and you're going to walk along the path which isn't always clear and it's it sometimes is windy and it's going to be sometimes scary and at other times it's going to be glorious. Um, a little bit like what I was talking about before with making a choice, right? Um, but yeah, you've also got your talisman. And I feel as though 
that's going to help guide it, guide you. But I feel like your talisman is actually your internal guidance system. And for some reason, you believe it's external from you. But I think you need to understand that this can be placed. You don't even need to carry it like that. You can actually place it within and it will it will probably work better. Oh, what have we got here? Yep, Eight of Pentacles, working really, really hard to create what it is you want to create to get that stability in your life, okay? And, um, yeah, I feel like this is about you looking at, this could very well be a direction of what you want to do as, um, as a career, okay, um, in your finances and how it is that you can make that work for yourself. But the other thing I want to say about that, Virgo, is looking at how um, you can put your own unique stamp on it, okay? Um, the Nine of Wands, very interesting, setting this burden down, okay? Um, getting back to the passion the, the original reason why you started this journey to begin with, um, part of that is about perseverance um, and to keep going. But I want to say, just take a moment um, to, and this could be why this hangman is here, because this king of wands here, his, his um, wand is lit and is ignited and this wand has gone out. So I feel like it's a matter of igniting this position, uh, sorry, passion um, and remembering what it, why it is that you started that journey. And that will help you to change your position. Okay, solitude. Yep, again, this is about bringing this light inside. This is about repairing what it is that needs to be repaired in your life in order for this light to shine from in the inside rather than the outside. Instead of relying on, on external things um, to help you along the way, you're actually only relying on your internal guidance system, okay? Taking the time to reflect on what it is you need to reflect on in order to get those those um, repairs or that healing to happen for yourself. Yeah, see, some of you are deciding whether you still want to even continue on this journey or not, okay? Partly because it's taking so long, but I do feel like with the Eight of Pentacles here, it's, it's, it's something that is worth walking, okay? Because I feel like, I also feel like you've lost sight of why you began the journey in the first place, okay? Because we've got this ladder leading up here to the Tree of Pentacles, but over here, where is it? This ladder is leading to nothing. It needs to be straightened up and it all needs to be, you know, put into repair um, in order for you to kind of get that focus back, I feel. I feel like maybe the focus has been lost, and that's what that Four of Cups is about. And maybe this is what this Eight of Cups is about. Because those I um the, the light from the eyes is streaming into the cup. So maybe it's remembering and seeing why it is, what it is you want, and, and why this is even here. You know, you could have started along this journey and gone, oh, that was a silly idea. Why did I even do that? And it's remembering why. Okay. And we have the Page of Swords. Okay, so this really is about you um, kind of like, I suppose, just holding fire for a minute because I feel like if this Page of Swords goes forth, it, it, because he's, again, like the Page of Wands, right, he's got to learn how to use the swords and I feel like if he starts flinging it around, he's going to chop the tree down. And so... Again, solitude. This is the solitude. One ring circus. One ring circus. This is you taking time for you. Making sure that, yeah, being discerning about who you let in. And, um, and just taking care of what it is that you need to take care of right now. 
okay this could also be that you have children around you that you are trying to take care of and you are trying to work towards um you know getting a solid foundation going for them um but i just really feel like right now the focus needs to be on yourself okay and then we have judgment whatever has gone on especially if there was anything um unequally distributed here okay um it's kind of like things come around right um people get what they deserve and you know this is also about success taking the time to go within and and rising up from you know from the the pits kind of like rising up from the pits you know from bottom after hitting rock bottom i feel um and rising up playing your own tune okay oh two of cups oh wow see this is what can happen this is what can happen when you've taken the time to go within and really filtered out who's working for you in your life and who isn't you know focusing on what you want to fill that cup with which i've lost now because everything's as usual oh here it is quite a mess um looking at what you want to fill that up so that you know whoever it is you come together with whether this is in love or business or friendship or whatever their cup is equally filled with the same goodness that yours is filled at. Might look a little bit different, but that's okay. You know, and, and the five of wands, I feel as though this is a little bit of a, um, some kind of quarreling, but I feel like this is in your mind. Um, but it could also be because you want to take this time out for yourself and do what you need to do. There may be some people around you <gasps> Oh, take a breath, who aren't happy with that, okay, movement, yes, 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 um, I love this, I love that there's this movement, getting out of this mud here, not only have you got out of the mud, but you've transformed yourself into an ostrich, who can easily pluck their foot out of the mud, okay, and there's even this option, a bit of a backup option, to float away in a hot air balloon, if need be, Okay, so this is fantastic. I really love this. I love this. And you've got you've got this world that you've created on the on your back here. And look at this. Maybe it wasn't a lighthouse. Maybe it was a windmill. Maybe it was a windmill, or maybe you're building both. So you can determine which direction you want that wind to blow. Right? And you'll be in that space of accepting where those leaves land when the wind does blow anyhow where are we <laughs> movement <laughs> you know the great thing about this though Virgo this is movement forward yeah look movement forward a whole new beginning getting unstuck and really um allowing this to play out and trusting having faith that you're going to be led where you need to be led out of this eight of swords out of this self-imposed prison that you have put around yourself okay becoming clear okay so i really do feel like this is what is going to be in store for you for the next two weeks come together how beautiful look at this come together Aww so nice yeah see and that's what i was talking about before with this right and um where's the other one this oh no it wasn't that one it was the five this <laughs> bringing those two cups and bringing them together as one right coming together um but like i say this could be in anything um although like it really is like love <laughs> But, you know, look, apply it to your life, how it fits, okay? If it's in business, bring two ideas together to create a passionate new beginning in a career that you absolutely love and adore. 
okay um but this could very well be for some of you it's it, it's this birthing it's birthing whether that's a family whether it's a new project there is this birthing looking at, look at the stork bringing the landing on top of the love heart here to deliver a lovely little package <laughs> um so yeah this is super cool but give me two cards for come together queen of cups yes see she knows what's in her cup. She has no doubt what she has to offer. She 100% stands in her power and goes, here's my cup. I know what's in it. And she expects to have an equal match to that cup. She expects it to be from the, the king of cups, okay? And she expects nothing less. And I feel like this is that energy, whether you're male or female, it's kind of like standing in that power for you. Okay, um, I love that that has come up here. One more card for Come Together for Virgo, please. One more card to Come Together. For come Together for Virgo. Ace of Pentacles. Yep, could very well be a new beginning in, um, in your business, okay? So, yeah, absolutely adore this. Um, yay! lots to look forward to so getting unstuck from that mud really looking at how it is you're filling up your cup okay and being sure of what you want to receive okay because this is her cup here but what you have to look forward to no matter how this applies to your life is pretty blimmin' exciting so this is fantastic i love it okay the virgo i'll leave that with you please subscribe and share and like and comment let us know what's going on and how it applies, um, if it does. And like I say, if it doesn't, just have a look at your other placements because there's probably a message there, hopefully. Okay, Virgo, take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.